another day, another explorer of our city, Sofia. Today we're going to check out the North Park, which is the closest park to our house. And then there's the markets on the other side, so hopefully they'll still be open and we can check them out. This time I will be doing a little bit of B-roll and some music to spice things up. And Becky's with us today. I'm not sure how much input we'll get from Becky because she's not feeling it, but she did come. Any words, Beck? <sighs> oh, well, we just walked past an interesting building. It looked like ramshackle ruins. And then I see two men pushing a trolley with what looked like a slumped dog on it. So now I'm trying to find on Google Maps what this ramshackle building is. But yeah, other than I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> Great start. Great start to the video. I struggle to describe what a Bulgarian, Sofian <laughs> park looks like. Uh, they're very cool. It's like a playground that never ends. And then you can go into a forest that doesn't feel like you're in a city at all. Any points, Becky? <laughs> this is how to describe a Bulgarian park. Take two. <laughs> So I would say Bulgarian parks are a bit rough around the edges. Sometimes the swings don't have a seat, <laughs> so you just have to stand on the metal bars. The slides look like in summertime you will definitely burn your bum, but there is still a lot to do. They've got table tennis uh, tables, you, I think you have to bring your own net. Oh and really? Well, I think yeah, so. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Um, they've got lots of different playgrounds and climbing cubes for the kids. Kind of concrete mazes that have been set up. You know how in Australia, playgrounds are always very tactile and soft, so that they're safe for kids? Well. Bulgarian playgrounds are the total opposite. It looks like they're made to make the kids tough and endure pain. <laughs> I like I like the parks here. I think they're very cool. It doesn't feel like you're in the middle of the city at all. And yet there's a lot of people enjoying themselves. They often have a, a restaurant or a bar or something in the middle, it's which simple. is really nice. Simple. And it's going into winter now and it's packed in here. So that's nice too. Mm. Not everyone is avoiding the cold weather, but it is a nice day anyway. And I've got dog parks too. They had um, an enclosed dog park with a training area like obstacles for the dogs, so I think that's pretty cool.
proper the outskirts of Sofia at the moment. And there's meant to be some markets out here. In the pictures on Google Maps, they seem to be pretty thriving, but maybe COVID has tore up, tore up the business a little bit. Yeah, it's not looking so exciting, but we'll see if we can find anything interesting around here. It's not the most exciting video, is it? No, I think you might end up deleting it. Do you reckon? Yeah. No, this is gold. Well, this right now is gold. This is a golden adventure. This right now, your yeah. face? Yeah. Not looking into the camera. Look, there's some interesting shops here. I love it. 2014. <laughs> Look, African drum with Aboriginal dot painting. Little piece of Australia. Auto sex cells is still very strong in Bulgaria in 2021. Um, I saw on a gravestone the other day. I'll flip the camera. I saw on a gravestone the other day. Oh, so noisy all of a sudden. The model who was modeling someone who had passed away was in a bikini, like the models that they use for the casinos all around here. So, in many weird and random places, the advertising that is chosen <laughs> is a half-naked woman. Even when you go in like the industrial area and you're looking for, uh, you know, plumbing and tools and electrical, like there'll be a bikini girl holding up electrical cables. <laughs> <laughs> it's very bizarre. Or the shower nozzle. She'll be holding the shower nozzle like this. Like out, like out. <laughs> In my last video, someone said that you can't just go around and look for abandoned buildings. That really? this isn't like Soviet Russia. This isn't a bald, bald and bankrupt video. Did someone say that? Yeah. And maybe that's true if you're comparing it to Russia or something like that. But when you compare it to Australia, there is definitely abandoned buildings. And maybe they are private, but there's still full access to them. And if it wasn't getting dark now, I think this one would be a pretty strong candidate for a little bit of a, a little bit of an explore. Becky decorates our house with weeds, <laughs> with street weeds, common street weeds. Yesterday she ran over to the train tracks and got some dead ones. And now they're on our kitchen table. They are not. <laughs> That's alive. They were very much alive. These are very pretty. In our house, in a nice little vase, they're lovely. Yeah. No one will ever know the difference. Some people really don't like Bulgaria because of this. But it makes it bizarre. It makes it a little different. I think it's quite cool. Admittedly, it wasn't the most eventful adventure, eventful adventure, <laughs> but I think it was worth it just for this crazy stadium here. This crazy soccer stadium that looks like it's from a set of Star Wars, <laughs> but also from a World War II it's movie. It's called Locomotive Stadium Sofia. Locomotive Stadium. Yeah. There you go. I think that'll wrap it up. Sorry, wasn't super exciting. It is the end of the week, it's, it's Friday afternoon, so everyone is going home, getting their drink on, having a rest, whatever. Have a good weekend, everyone. See ya.